Happy Pride! We're going to continue to celebrate Pride with another couple of mine. In case you missed my last speed paint, we're celebrating Pride by showing off some of my LGBTQOCs and telling a non-canon story about them. The story will show off their unique dynamic and relationship. This week is all about Sunset and Luna, who don't have a comic yet, but hopefully they will in the future, or maybe an animatic series or a blog. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, so no promises. Sunset is a day slash light elf. She is a bisexual woman and very girly. She enjoys sweets and has a twin sister named Sunrise. She also has an older stepsister and she's close with her stepsister's stepbrother. Her family is kind of complicated. She owns a pinkish peach mouse kin named Peaches. She loves Philly clothing and is very outgoing and affectionate with all her friends. She's kind of bouncy and all over the place too. She works at a pet cafe where sheltered animals go to meet guests and hopefully find their forever home. Pun intended. Luna is a night slash dark elf and is asexual. She does enjoy cuddling and the occasional kiss, but she isn't comfortable with adult hugging, if you know what I mean. She's a part of a very large and loving adoptive family with two amazing dads. One she calls Daddy, the other she calls Papa, as to avoid confusion. So do her other siblings. She's very close with all of her siblings and adores them very much. She also has a mouse skin, but this one is more of a purplish blue named Barry. She adopted Barry at the pet cafe where Sunset works, and that's also where she met Sunset and Sunset's twin sister. Though, I'll be saving that story for something else. She works at a bookstore, cafe, bakery, and it's very relaxed. She enjoys reading there on her breaks. The two share an apartment and often go out on cute outings, and this story is about one of them. Sunset and Luna both woke up. A pride parade was going to be taking place on Main Street later in the day, and the two had been planning to go for a long time. Luna changed their pet's water and refilled their food. She petted them as they ate before going to get ready for the Pride event herself. Sunset was practically bouncing all over the place as she got ready. Putting on her Pride blouse and Pride stockings, she even got out her bisexual Pride skirt. She put on a rainbow headband and Pride-themed hair ties. Luna, of course, was equally excited about it, but she was more calm about it. She put on her Ace Pride shirt that Sunset had got her for her last birthday, some jean shorts, Ace Pride stockings, and a hair clip to go with it. Oh, you look so beautiful! Sunset squealed. Ready to go? Luna nodded in response, a small blush creeping on her face. Once ready, the two girls got in Sunset's car, a peachy pink sporty convertible. They had planned to drive to Luna's place of work for some coffee and a quick bite to eat. Sunset turned on the radio and Born This Way was playing. She turned it up and sang along while Luna stared out the window watching the buildings go by. This was Sunset's first pride parade, but Luna had been going to them since she was a small child. They arrived at the cafe and Luna held the door open for Sunset who went in first. Luna followed. They go up to the counter, and luckily, Luna's favorite co-worker and best friend, Star, was working. Oh, hey Star, thanks so much for covering for me today. Can I get a cold brew espresso and an opera cake? Luna asked. Yeah, no problem, Star replied. I'd love a pride mocha and sweetheart macaroons, please, Sunset asked. Star nodded and rang them up. An opera cake is a layered French almond sponge cake. It's layered with ganache and a French coffee buttercream frosting. A sweetheart macaroon is an ice cream dessert that this store offers. It uses heart-shaped macaroons, and then there's a layer of ice cream. After that layer of ice cream, there's a layer of strawberries and whipped cream with another layer of ice cream. The ice cream is vanilla. A pride mocha is a layered coffee drink. The layers are colored like the pride flag, and on top is whipped cream and rainbow sprinkles. The cold brew espresso was much simpler. It came in a normal cup, and it was black. The girls gave Star their reusable cups. 
they preferred them over disposable ones, and soon after that, their drinks and snacks were ready. They sat down by the window. Sunset started eating her macaroon right away, while Luna sipped on her espresso. I'm so excited about this, Sunset said with a bright smile. Luna smiled back and nodded. They are a lot of fun, and you meet a lot of cool people. Sunset took a sip of her mocha. She was so carefree and tried to live her life in the moment. Another customer came into the cafe. It appeared to be an older gentleman with his granddaughter, though the girls couldn't quite tell. He nodded at the two girls before going to order his own drinks and food. The girls finished their own drinks and snacks and went off for the pride parade. It hadn't started yet, but a lot of people have already gathered around. It was crowded, loud, and exciting. Luna stuck close to Sunset, happy to attend, but knowing that this will drink her later. To their surprise, the older gentleman and his companion were at the pride parade with them. He stood kind of close to the girls. Oh, hey, you were at the cafe earlier. I'm Sunset, and this is my girlfriend Luna, Sunset explained. It's nice to meet you. I'm Comet, and this is my granddaughter Starlight, he introduced themselves. It's great to meet you. Isn't pride exciting? Sunset asked. Yeah, it is, especially since this was my first pride out as a trans woman, Starlight replied. That's so great. I'm so glad you can attend. This is my first pride parade ever. I used to live in the country, so there wasn't a lot of events happening. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm so glad you can make it, Starlight replied. Sunset nodded, then turned to watch the parade as it began. Due to her height, Luna had trouble seeing the floats. She tried to peer between people, growing more frustrated as it became very difficult for her. Sunset did notice this, and she couldn't help but giggle a little before scooping up her beloved girlfriend. She placed Luna on her back to carry her piggyback style. Sunny! Luna explained. You couldn't see the float, so I'm helping you! Sunset replied, teasing her just a little bit. Luna turned red and wanted to object, but she couldn't. After all, she was having trouble seeing the floats. They watched as the parade went by. Each float had its own pride flag theme, and they had their own music playing. Confetti was thrown, and so was glitter. Lots of confetti and glitter was thrown. This glitter, however, was biodegradable so there was no worry about any huge messes or anyone taking glitter home. Luna leaned closer into her girlfriend, cuddling a little bit. This made Sunset blush herself. The Sunset, while being careful with Luna on her back, was still cheering, singing along to all the songs she knew, and jumping around, even dancing a little. Luna smiled, singing along herself, and just having a good time with her girlfriend. They both smiled, having a good time themselves, and happy to see the other have a good time. However, all good things must come to an end. They watched as the last few floats went by, and the final float, the most colorful of all, with rainbows all over it, and many extravagant costumes, shouted, Happy Pride! as it went by. Sunset smiled at Starlight as she placed Luna down. Do you want to hang out sometime? Sunset asked. I'd love to, Starlight replied. Let's exchange numbers. Here's my phone. Sunset gave Starlight her phone. Starlight did nod and give Sunset her phone in return. They both put in their numbers and set the contact. Can't wait to hang out some time. Bye! Sunset waved as she walked to her car. Starlight waved back and smiled at her grandpa. It was really nice to meet you, she shouted at the girls. Sunset smiled, opening the passenger door for Luna, and Luna got in, buckling up. Sunset walked around, got in on the driver's side, buckled up, and started the car. I had a really fun time today, Sunset said. Yeah, me too, Luna replied. They drove home, and while the day wasn't over, as there was a Pride fireworks show later in the day, the two girls wanted a few hours of rest. 
Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please check out my social media, Steven's social media, the Gem School Host Club, and my comments. Stay artsy. Bye, guys.